defense available in a law of tort so de- general defense means it's a set of defense or the excuse that the defendant can undertake to escape the liability in a tort general defense to an action in a tort so in that the first is the private defense when a defendant tries to protect his body or a property or any other person's property harms another person by using a reasonable force under an imminent danger and where there is a no time to report instantly to the authority it is called a private defense next is a necessity necessity knows no law in order to avoid or prevent a great loss or a harm a defendant can cause lesser harm that is justified inevitable accident inevitable accident is a mishap it cannot be avoided act of a god act of a god or a vis major is unusual or the event which is not avoidable when a plaintiff himself is a wrong doer it is based on the maxim ex turpi causa that if the plaintiff himself is engaged in the wrongful act or a conduct then he cannot recover damages or nor he blame the defendant so these are the general defense to an action in a tort joint tort facers when a tort is committed by the several person all the person involved in it become a joint tort facer for this the parties must act together in committing the wrongful act all those who actually participate in a civil wrong commission are joint tort facers vis major means the act of the god act of god is also known as vis major its meaning is superior force it may be the loss that result immediately from a natural cause and it is inevitable accident inevitable means it means it cannot be avoided and because of a superior force and there is a no intervention of a human agency and as in this vis major there is a no intervention of the human agency that's why for such cases nobody can blame the another person vis major or the act of a god